morning, Jai Shri Krishna. Welcome to the Saturday morning session. Let's close the eyes, hands in Dhyan Mudra, first fingertip and thumb tip together. Sit tall. We will chant three long omkars, deep breathing each time. And as we exhale, we're going to chant Aum Ma and feel the vibration from navel to it goes, the vibrations goes all the way to the head. Oh. Sahanavavatu, Sahanao Bunaktu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejasvinavaditamastu Mavidvishavahai, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Keep the eyes closed. Join hands at back of the body and bow forward to the Mother Supreme Earth. Try to bring head all the way down. Inhale, come back up, rub the palms. Place the hands over the eyes and face. Cover the eyes under palms. Blink the eyes a few times. And very slowly slide the hands down. Gently open the eyes. We can start with our warm up. As palms 90 degree up, 90 degree down. We will try to utilize as many as joints, body parts, muscles. Alternate few times. All these little activities you can, if you don't need, you can close the eyes. Whenever you need to look at the screen, just you need to see. Otherwise, with closed eyes, you can feel all these movements internally and feel the sensations, relaxations and any kind of activities. Separate fingers apart, make tight fist, thumbs inside. Try to keep the elbows straight if possible. Now hold the fist, roll them forward a few times. So the arms are parallel to the floor. And few times reverse directions. Actually all these little activities that we involve, multiple joints, okay, breathe in, up, breathe out, down, so all these little activity with the joints all goes into the Pavan Muktasan category because it releases the extra vat element, extra air element from the joints. Few times sideways, join all the fingers when you bring them on the shoulders. Spread them apart when you bring them down a few times. And hold all the fingers together over the shoulder. With folded elbow, we're going to make the biggest circle possible. Deeply inhale when we bring them up. Deeply exhale when we push them back and down. In each rotation, the elbows touch once.
and few times reverse. And relax. Bring the hands sideways and turn the palms 90 degree up and we will make a circle circling palms around the shoulders. So palms not simply going up and down but we're gonna push them back and forward as well. So it's all directions we are moving our palms keeping the shoulders in center. Few times reverse. Okay. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, bring the one palm at the back, align with the spine. Look all the way back as we fully exhale. Chin align with the shoulder at the back and keep pressing the knee forward. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, same thing on the other side. Try to keep the trunk vertical and feel the full twist at the lower back or the lower, lower abdomen. Two more times on both the sides. Deep inhale in the center and deep exhale when we twist. And the last round. Okay. And come back. Interlock the fingers. Place the palms over forehead. Breathe in. Hold the breath as we press head and palms against each other and release the breath, release the palms and do same thing from the back. Doing from the back, keep pressing the elbows towards back and palms forward. One more time front and back with breath coordination. This will release the tension, bodily tension around neck and shoulder area. And let's do two times on the side way, both the sides alternatively. Breathe in, hold the breath as we press the palm and head against each other side way. Okay, inhale, as we exhale, tilt the head sideways, we can put little bit weight of the palm, we are not pushing it, inhale, straighten it, exhale on the other side, don't try to move the trunk, just the head and neck, one more time, Fully exhale when tilt. And complete the second time on the other side. Now look straight. Inhale. As we exhale, just turn the head on the sideways, align chin with the right shoulder. Look over the right shoulder. Hold three to five seconds. Inhale, come back to center. Try to keep the shoulder blades and the trunk completely still. As we exhale, turn the head all the way to the left. Align the chin with the left shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Three to five seconds. Inhale, come back to center. Second time on both the sides.
feel the full twist at the neck, neck joint. Okay. Inhale, look up. Feel the full extension at the thoracic area. Exhale, head down, chin at the chest. Inhale again, up. Exhale, down. Chin at the chest. So we're going to turn the head as we inhale, turn the head towards the right. Up, exhale on the left. And down. Big circle with the head and neck. Inhale on right. Exhale on left and third circle, gentle movements, conscious movements. Once you complete three rounds on the right to left, then we're going to do breathing on left. Look up, breath out on the right and down. Two more circles. Okay, bring both palms on the knees, inhale, as we exhale, bend forward, try to bring head closer to the floor, as we inhale, just turn the head onto the right side, the whole, along with the hold the trunk, go up, lean backward, as we exhale, lean towards the left side, and bring the head all the way down to the floor. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down. Steady, gentle movements. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And pretty much 360 degree rotation. Try to make the biggest circle possible. Then a reverse direction three to four times. Do with the breath coordination. Try to keep the trunk and head aligned. Relax when you complete three to four circles in both the directions. Then we will sit in L shape. Legs are completely grounded. Bring the palms beside the body. Straighten the trunk. Pull the toes towards the body. Hold it for a few seconds. Feel some extension at the calf muscles as we pull the toes inward. Then squeeze and release all the toes. And watch all the joints are bending on the toes. And as we inhale, push the feet forward. Exhale, pull them back few times together. And two times alternate, one pull, one push. Now holding the heels together, toes together, circle the toes around the heels. Biggest circle possible. And try to keep the legs grounded. And few times 
few circles reverse direction. Okay, now hold the left upper leg with both the hands or you can just hold it any way you like. Inhale, straighten the leg, toes pointing out, exhale, flex the right knee, inhale, up, the left leg will remain straight, left toes pointing towards the wall in front. Inhale, raise the right leg up, straight it, exhale, flex up knee, then make a circle, let the toes guide the direction of the circle. And feel the full rotation at the right knee. So the upper leg will remain still few times reverse. So all these joint related activities goes into the air religion, the Pagan Muktasan category. Okay. Then straighten at the right knee, grab the right leg at the ankle joint or you can even hold it even further at the foot lift it up all the way inhale exhale normal deep breath in as we breath out bend the head down bend forward see if we can bring forehead closer to the right knee inhale straighten the trunk bend at the right knee Interlock right toes with the left fingers. Put the right palm on the right knee. Keep on pressing the right knee down to the floor a few times. Try to keep the back straight. The left leg remains straight. Left toes pointing towards the wall in front. Just use the palm to bring the knee to the chin. As we inhale, Press the knee to the floor, hold it for a couple of seconds. Exhale, bring the knee to the chin. Two to three more times. While holding the knee on the floor, instead of holding, you can just push them a few times down. Total four to five times. When you're done, relax the right leg, straighten it, and lift the left leg up. Grab at the upper left leg. As we inhale, straighten the left knee, left toes pointing out. Exhale, flex at the left knee. Inhale, up. Exhale down, up, down, one more time. Then make a circle, just the lower left leg. So left toe is just making the uh, ways, the direction and few times reverse. Now gently put the left foot on the midpoint on the left, on the right leg. Interlock the left toes with the right fingers. Use the right palm to keep on pressing the left palm on the left knee. Keep on pressing the left knee down, create the spring action, right leg straight, right toes pointing out towards the wall in front, back straight. Just use the palm to bring the left knee to the chin, 
Inhale, press left knee down to the floor and hold it for at least two seconds. And exhale, bring the knee to the chin. Two to three more times on the left. Okay, relax both the legs, shake them up. Now hold at both the knees, align both feet together, interlock the fingers, place them, place the fingers over the toes, little toes, and the thumbs will go under directly under the big toes. Raise both palms up. Exhale, bring the knees down, inhale, raise knees all the way up, exhale down, and then split up. See if you can bring the knees all the way closer to the floor. There is a one connection name iPhone. If you can please rename it, that would be great. And camera is off as well, so it's better to have name. Either name should be on or camera should be, I mean name should be correct or the camera should be on. It is always advisable to have camera on because this is kind of interactive activity. So you will get much more benefit if your camera is on. If you are new and not comfortable to keep the camera on, that's okay. But this is just general guideline. Just roll the body side by side. As we roll, try to bring the perineum closer to the heels. Then sit straight, back straight. Keep pressing the knees down to the floor. Deep breath in, hold the breath in lower abdomen. With closed eyes, keep the awareness at the pelvis area, hip joints, and feel the extra stretches. Exhale. Again, inhale and hold the breath for about seven seconds. Make sure the back is straight while we hold the breath. And at the same time, we can keep pressing the knees down. So do a couple more times. Okay, once you complete, then again roll the body side by side, keep pressing the body away from the heels, make some room in between the heels and perineum. So earlier it was Bhaddasan or Bhadrasan, and now we are doing Bhadda Konasan. Back straight, look up, deeply inhale, keeping the back straight as we exhale, bend from all the way lower back. And try to bring the trunk and head all the way down, forehead to the toes. Inhale, come back up. Second round. Deeply inhale. Deeply exhale as we bend forward. You can push the shin bone with the elbows so we can pull our trunk further forward and down. So that way we can bring our chin to the toes. Ok, 
Oke. Okay. Back up. Sit in cross leg posture. Inhale. Make sure we are sitting on our glute muscles properly. Back straight. Biceps at the ear. Now holding the biceps at the ear. As we exhale, bend forward. So the back, head and arms. It will be in one straight line. Inhale, back up, up again, exhale, bend forward, just go 45 degree. Inhale, up. Now exhale, we will go all the way down, make a cup of the fingers. Place them on the floor and walk them even further forward. Try to bring the trunk and head all the way down to the floor. Now hold the trunk down. Just tilt the head up as we inhale. As we exhale, keeping the trunk down and head up, walk the palms onto the one side as we fully exhale. Go all the way sideways. Make sure keep on pressing the trunk down. Hold it for a couple of seconds, then inhale. Come back to center. Exhale. Go to the other side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn the head all the way down to the floor forehead to the floor, inhale, walk the hands back to the body, now sit into any other cross leg posture, you can sit in half lotus pose or both sides, full lotus pose, lotus pose is Padmasana or you can sit into a Svastikasana or Siddhasan, Sukhasan. Bring both hands sideways. We will do Parvatasan. Trunk vertical with full consciousness. As we breathe in, bring both palms together in front of the chest at Anahata Chakra. Exhale. As we inhale, raise both palms up. Place them on top of the head. Exhale. As we deeply inhale, extend the hands all the way up, the elbow straight, the whole trunk and arms are stretched upward. As we exhale, start lowering the palms back to top of the head, at the chest and all the way down. Let's do two more times, do with your own pace. Do with breath coordination, do with closed eyes, with 100% awareness. Awareness on the movements and breathing. Okay, 
जस्ट डू भस्त्र का प्राणायाम हैंड्स इन ध्यान मुद्रा बैक स्ट्रेट रिलैक्स शोल्डर्स मेक श्योर द नेक हेड एंड ट्रंक इन वर्टिकल लाइन डीपली इनहेल डीपली एक्सहेल क्लोज द आईज फर्स्ट कपल ऑफ ब्रेथ ऑब्जर्व दैट एज वी इनहेल अवर स्टमक इज पॉपिंग आउट एज वी एक्सेल द नेवल गोने गो इन आफ्टर दैट जस्ट कीप अवेयरनेस एट नॉस्ट्रिल्स वेर वी ब्रीथिंग इन एंड आउट We do deep breath in and deep breath out. You don't have to use any force. Don't speed up. Slowly, fully fill up the lungs and fully empty them. Okay, relax. Open, close the, open the eyes. So, uh, how many people have difficulty on uh, controlling the breath? Let's say if I want to do deeply breathe in, and then if I want to do breathe out with control. I don't want to breathe out immediately. I just want to release the breath just little bit, little at a time, and I can control the way I want. Fifteen second, twenty seconds, half minute. How many people able? No, not able to do it. How many people have difficulty doing it? Okay, just a couple of them. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Some people might have difficulty, but if you practice a little, it would be great. That's the pranayama means. We have control on the breathing, so we breathe in, and if we pay attention, and if we try to release the breath just. Little at a time, little at a time, and try to control. Initially, it might be difficulty, but it's not that hard. Then you will find that was so much easier. Okay, next we will do with Vishnu Mudra. We will do Surya Nadi Pranayama, right and right only. Roll first two fingers into root of thumb. We can use ring fingertip to block the left nostril. The right elbow up at the level of the shoulder. Deep breath in on right and deep breath out on right. The left hands can be in any mudra. You can keep them on. Keep it on Vayu um, Vayu Mudra or Dhyan Mudra.
Okay, conclude when you breathe out on right. Next, we will do Kapal Bhati Pranayama. On both hands, we will do two mudras together. So, the Apan Mudra in Dr. Kamal. Kamal Sabe in Apana, uh, apana, apana Mudra. Ke. English Mala Kelo in APNA. So, he pronounced it Apana Mudra. It's Apan, apan Mudra. So, middle finger and ring fingertips. When we connect those two tips with the thumb tip, that's Apan Mudra. On both the hands and Vayu Mudra is when we roll first fingertip into root of thumbs. So when we do both mudras together like first fingertip roll into root of thumb and next two fingers connect with the thumb tips. So Apan Mudra and Vayu Mudra together mixture is Apan Vayu Mudra. On both the hands relax them on the knees or the thighs Sit straight, deeply inhale once into the lower abdomen and forcefully in multiple exhalations we are going to breathe out. Frequency you can keep as per your comfort level but when you completely empty the lungs then you are going to deep in inhale one more time and then exhale into multiple exhalations. Relax, breathe normal when you fully breathe out. Open up the palms toward the ceiling with closed eyes, tilt the head slightly upward. Feel the vibrations, feel the energy. Okay, and come back. Next we will do variation of the Bastrika Pranayam. Make tight fist at the shoulders. Inhale up, open up the palms. Exhale, make fist down. Inhale forward. Exhale backward, make fist. Inhale sideways. Exhale, pull them back, fist. Inhale up, down. Inhale. And relax. Again, make the Vishnu Mudra. Inhale on the right. Hold the breath for a few seconds. Then exhale on left. One more time. Inhale on right. 
hold Excel on left then open up the palms tilt the head upward bring the awareness in between the eyebrows in the Agnya Chakra we will do second round of the same pranayama we did we will do a little bit faster People with blood pressure issue or heart problem, do it slowly or you can avoid it. And relax. Breathe normal. Open up the palms toward the ceiling. Tilt the head up. Close the eyes. Awareness in between the eyebrows at the Agnya Chakra. Feel the vibrations. Let them come down. Let the energy absorb into the body. And relax. So that was good enough warm up today. Spread the feet apart, legs fully grounded. We will do Upavishta Konasan. As we inhale, look up, both hands up, lean slight backward. Try to keep the back straight. As we fully exhale, bend up from the lower back. Grab the feet and try to push trunk and head down with each exhalation try to push the trunk and head down and down. As we inhale come back up let's do second time. See if you can bring forehead all the way to the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Grab the left big toe with the right hand and raise the left hand up as we inhale and look through the left palm. Three to five seconds. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, both hands up again. Exhale, grab the right big toe with the left hand. Inhale, raise the right hand up. And look through the right palm. Three to five seconds. Then down. Exhale. Inhale. Second time. Exhale. Again towards left. Do with breath coordination. Raise the left hand up. Look through the left palm. Three to five seconds. Exhale. Inhale up both hands, exhale and on the right side, raise the right hand up, look through the right palm, and down. Next we'll do Chakki Chanalasan, interlock the fingers. Just hover around the palms or the knees, toes, go all the way down. Try to keep the arms straight parallel to the floor. Fully exhale, 
when we point forward and down, inhale, when we lean backward. Try to lean as far back as possible. And when we bend forward, try to bring the forehead closer to the floor. Three to five circles in one direction, then three to four circles, reverse. You can close the eyes while doing this movements. Feel how the stretches also move from one side to other side. Okay, once you complete four to five circles on both the sides, relax, then fold at the right knee. Bring the right heel at the perineum. Turn the shoulder blades perpendicular to the left leg. Inhale. Raise both hands up. Look up. Deeply exhale as we bend forward with both hands equally. Grab the left foot and press the head down to the left knee. Inhale, come back up, second time on the same side, fully exhale, bend forward. The reason I am saying both hands equally we should grab the foot is because if our shoulder blade is not perpendicular properly, then our hands not landing properly, equally on the foot. Each exhalation, keep on pressing the head and tongue down and down. See if we can bring the forehead all the way to the knee. Inhale, come back up. And turn the right leg outward, the right foot out. So the right heel will be touching our hip and toes stretch outward. Again, trunk straight. We will do one more time. Turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the left leg. Inhale up. Exhale. Both hands on the foot and forehead onto the left knee. Now land the left palm onto the right knee. The right hand will go at back of the body. As we fully exhale, twist backward, look back, Align the chin with the right shoulder, full twist at the lower abdomen or the lower back. And come back. Now straighten the right leg, fold at the left knee, left heel at the perineum. Turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the right leg. Inhale, raise both hands up, look up. As we exhale, bend forward with both hands equally. Grab the right foot, tongue and head as much as down. Inhale. Look up, both hands up, second time on the same side, with full exhalation, bend forward, try to bring forehead to the right knee,
Okay, inhale, come back up. And hold the left foot on the other side. So left heel at the left hip joint. Again, raise both hands up, look up. As we exhale, bend forward and bring forehead to the right knee. About seven seconds. Inhale, come back up, land the right palm onto the left knee. Left palm will go at back of the body, align it with the spine. Fully exhale as we twist, look back, align the chin with the left shoulder. Feel the full twist, you can keep pressing the knee forward. Inhale. Come back. Both feet in the front, straight at the knees. We can bring the toes in and out. We can feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. Now align both feet completely together. We are doing Paschimottanasana. Inhale, raise both hands up, look up, try to pull the trunk away from the hips. As we exhale, bend forward, tuck the stomach in. That means apply the Udhyana Bandha and press the trunk and head further down. Inhale, come back up. We'll do second time. Bend forward as we apply the Udyan Bandha. Inhale, come back up. And we will do complementary pose. That is Purva Uttanasan. You can do with the folded knees, the modified version, easy one, or you can do the standard one. Both palms at the back in both the cases. As we inhale, raise the trunk all the way up. Push the toes to the floor. So heels and toes on the floor. Drop the head at the back, both knees straight, both elbows straight, the whole body assumes one straight line at back. So back of the head to the heels, it will be one straight line. Most of people in uh, the main standard pose of the Purva Uttarasana. Also this is called a reverse plank. In English it's called reverse plank. Sanskrit Purva Uttarasana. And I'm just buying some time as I talk. So we've been almost 40 seconds now. With practice, okay, bring the body down onto the floor. With more and more practice we can increase all these postures. Uh, the limit could go to a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and that's actually our ultimate goal. Is in during our session, obviously we cannot stay each of the postures for too long time. So over here we just assume that this is kind of um, uh, learning things. We just practicing it, but during off times, if you grab any five poses, seven poses, eight poses, spend half an hour. Uh, one hour and try to stay into that pose for longer duration. So that would be the homework all the time, every day. Okay, let's sit in uh, Vajrasana. 
and for a few seconds so today third navratri and right now probably in india the celebration should be going on and um we didn't get chance to line up anybody for today for yogic garba we will do some yogic jogging right so from tomorrow we will have either couple or one person gonna start leading us just about 10 12 minutes 15 minutes maybe each of our yoga sessions so i am start collecting the names and putting them in line up but today we just didn't get chance to line them up because they need to prepare keep the music ready right just that track and they're gonna put the track and they will dance i'm gonna put on a spotlight same as last year most of you probably seen it last year so same we will do this year for nine sessions so our first session will be tomorrow uh so we were going to continue up to the nine sessions and Monday we will do 108 Surya Namaskars. Finally, so this season our dream is going to be come true. Monday is Columbus Day. So to mark our calendar just for another big adventure for our group. So we choose doing it Monday because Monday is federal holiday and many people have off. So session time will be 7 to 9. I think I did mention in, in already in a group, I said that, so we're meeting at 7 o'clock Monday. Okay, sit in Virasan, just separate the hills away and the glute muscles directly on the floor. And don't, don't slouch, just again continue holding the back straight. and back to Vajrasan. Separate the knees a little bit apart. We'll do Mandukasan, frog pose. Thumbs inside, make tight fist. Deeply inhale, hold the breath in lower abdomen. Then place top of the fist in between the rib cages and navel. Now forcefully exhale as we bend forward without leaving the heels. Once we reach maximum point, pressing the trunk down, that point hold the trunk there and tilt the head slightly upward so we can see few inches ahead. Inhale, come back up. We will do second time. Hold the breath, put the fist, fully exhale forcefully all the way down and tilt so um thursday session ma a mandukasan no sare rite ullek thelo dr kamal sabe saru explaining karalu this is really really good Pause. Even for diabetic people, it's really nice to practice it every day. Okay, let's do um, complementary pose. Supta Vajrasan. Or you can do from Virasan and then do Supta Virasan. Or, or you stay in Vajrasan and go backward and do Supta Vajrasan. What of either one? With the help of the palms can go down. If you are able to go all the way down, you can stay halfway. Then you can drop the head at the back and you can relax the lower back. Stay on the elbows. Otherwise, you can just slide the hands forward. Lay down the whole back on the floor and back of the head on the floor. Make sure knees are grounded too. Separate the shoulder blades away from each other. Raise both palms up, 
place them on the thighs and you can just let all the body parts muscles go on their own you can close the eyes you can scan the body quickly and you can look at the maximum stretch point it could be lumbar it could be hamstring knee joint grab both the ankles push the elbows down to the floor and bring the body up back to sitting posture Okay, we will do child pose, separate the knees far apart, couple of feet just as the mat width, inhale, raise both hands up, look up, as we exhale, bend forward, bring the palms on the floor, walk the palms forward and drop the chest and chin on the floor. Don't leave the heels. Relax the shoulders. Relax the lower back. Deeply inhale. Deeply exhale. And observe that we have at least 20% more intake capacity in this posture. We can breathe more. With next inhalation, walk the palms back towards the body and get into tabletop pose. The wrist joints directly under the shoulders vertically and knees vertically under the hip, uh, hip joints. Look up, we will do cat and cow pose, Marjorie Asan. Deeply inhale, look up as we make the spine, downward arch. Exhale, slightly bend at the elbows. Drop the head down, look at the navel. We'll make the spine upward arch. Do three to four more times. Inhale up. Exhale, look down. And try best to make the spine Go upward arch and downward arch respectively. And once you complete, get into the tabletop pose, look straight forward. With next inhalation, kick the right foot out, the right toes out, pointing toward the wall at the back. The whole leg will be parallel to the floor. And look straight forward, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, normal. With next inhalation, without dropping the knees down, bend at the right knee 90 degree, the right toes pointing toward the ceiling. Make sure the leg is not tilting on right or left. You can turn around quickly, make a correction, and then look straight forward. Relax the lower back, that is most important. Shoulders away from the ears. Raise the head as up as possible. With next inhalation, lift the left hand up. Using the proprioception, just grab the right ankle and pull the right leg up. 
as high as possible. Raise the head up, look up, and pull the right leg up. as high as possible. With next exhalation, bring the right knee onto the floor, left palm on the floor, back to double top pose, look straight forward, inhale exhale normal. With next inhalation, kick the left foot out, the left leg parallel to the floor, left toes pointing towards the back wall, look straight upward, the ears away from the shoulders, inhale exhale normal, with next inhalation without dropping the left knee down, bend at 90 degree, you can turn around and make sure it bent correctly or knee is not dropped or the leg is not tilted any other direction it should be straight up toes remains pointing toward the ceiling look straight up relax the lower back inhale exhale normal with next inhalation raise the right hand up grab the left ankle pull the left leg up as high as possible raise the head up the ear away from the left shoulder and the left leg as high as possible with next exhalation drop the right palm back to the floor and left knee back to the floor double top pose and we'll go on both the knee we will do gate pose just one simple one Stretch out the right leg. As we inhale, raise the left hand up. Exhale. Slide the right hand over the right leg. Bend sideways. You can reach all the way to the ankle. Keep looking upward. So our body will remain in same plane. Okay, inhale, come back up and go on to the other side. Gently inhale, right hand up, exhale, bend towards the left side, the left palm sliding down all the way onto the left leg reaching out to the ankle keep gazing up toward the ceiling okay inhale come back up next we'll do camel pose ustrasan half camel pose bring both palms at the hip joints, fingers pointing down, look straight to begin with, as we inhale, turn the head up and drop the head at the back, keep on pressing the stomach forward and bring both the elbows together as we continuously dropping the head down. So hold all the three forces as I do count down, but apply more and more pressure to it. Ten, nine, keep pushing stomach forward, six, 
five elbows together drop the head back three two one release the hands slowly straighten the trunk and we will do back both bring both palms on the floor and we will do a little bit forward bending pass the left hand under the body towards the right side the left side of the face on the floor make a fist on the right hand hold it at the back of the body press the left palm down to the floor and look toward the ceiling feel the twist at the middle of the trunk okay, bring the right palm onto the floor left palm onto the floor back to tabletop pose and pass the right hand under the body towards left make a fist on the left hand hold it back push the right palm towards the floor and twist upward look to the ceiling full twist at the middle of the trunk and bring both the palms onto the floor and on the knees and then Uttestatu shake, shake up the hands, legs, thighs fit together We'll do Tadasan as we inhale, go on the toes, interlock the fingers, stretch them all the way towards the ceiling. Exhale down, heels down. Inhale second time on the toes. Exhale down, we will walk on the hills, make two circles around the mat and then two circles on the toes. Try to keep the knees as straight as possible. So, spread the feet far apart. Let's do the Kati Chakrasan a little bit differently. As we inhale, raise the hands up. As we exhale, just turn the palms up and twist. As far as possible towards back but try not to bring the palms together the arms will still remain in the same line inhale come back to center down Ex exhale again when we bring the hands down inhale up exhale towards sideways all the way back Inhale, exhale down, inhale towards the other side. One more time on both the sides. Full twist, 
you notice some stretches into the shoulders and upper arms. Come back, exhale, inhale, twist as we exhale, inhale, come back. Next we'll do Tiriyak Tadasan. Just raise both hands up. Inhale, as we exhale, bend sideways and gaze upward. Look up, try to keep the elbow straight and press both hands as down as possible. Feel the full stretch on the opposite side of the trunk. Inhale, back, straight. Exhale, onto the other side. One more time. Okay. Now move in front of the mat. So, okay, first, let me show you one thing. Um, 108 Surya Namaskar or 80 Surya Namaskars. Since we raise the number of Surya Namaskars, we try to save some time. So I know that in Surya Namaskar, the first posture is Pranam. And the twelfth pose is also Pranam. So when we do repeating, the between first and second, always we have two Pranam, right? Because the last and the second Surya Namaskar is first. So we try to combine into one. So instead of doing two, so that way we're saving some time. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put that music now. So we will do about 10 Surya Namaskars. And same music we will be using Monday for 108. And I hope all of you guys join because it doesn't matter if you do 10, 20, 30, you can do it per your capacity. You don't have to do all. Right, so there may be some people will be doing all, but not everyone have to do all. So move in front of the mat. So the reason I'm telling you that you will see that why, otherwise you may be wondering why one step is missing. But it's actually, pranam is, is count into both. That's why. So, okay. Roll the shoulders back and down. So we are straight into non-repeating Surya Namaskar music. Means it is a little bit faster. Okay, now it's good. Just raise hand up if you uh, hear the music. Oh. 
ಸೂರ್ಯಾ ನಮಃ ಸೂರ್ಯಾ ನಮಃ ಭಾನವೇ ನಮಃ ಖಗಾಯ file we will be playing but first two as we always play with our all surya namaskar session first two will be a little bit relaxed and like double mantra wala okay there we can get good warm up and then we're going to start this so just think about 10 times this is 100 so we need 10 surya namaskars let's sit in malasan for 5 uh, to 10 seconds stand up we'll do paschim namaskar you can connect the fingertips pointing downward first so it will be easier to turn them towards up and then we can push them up that would be a little bit easier push them up all the way and we can try to intertwine the thumbs good and we will do only one balancing pose today three poses make sure one foot is flat so we don't have time to do um yogic jogging today but tomorrow we will do straight in a garba with the garba music and there you can do half way in three pose here or you can stretch the hands all the way up but align the palms slowly transition to the other side no rush we still have 30 minutes to do some more poses and yoga nindra any any balancing posture should be done very peacefully slowly Okay. come out of the pose and we will lay down on a stomach
gesture, both hands forward, toes pointing out, with next inhalation, raise the head, chest chin, hands up, and pull the legs up, away from the, from the floor, so thighs few inches over the floor. Viparitanukasan or flying pose or superman pose and bring the body down and fold at both the elbows in a makarasan let's get into relaxation fully relax Next, we will do Ardha Salvasan. Both fit together, bring the palms under the thighs. With next inhalation, raise the one leg up, keeping the knee straight, toes pointing out. Fold at the other side, other leg, knee, and bring the foot to put it under the thigh of the raised leg to support it. Relax the lower back, relax the shoulders, chest, chin and shoulder blade on the floor. Very slowly bring both legs down and same thing on the other side or the shalvasan. Half locust pose, L-O-C-U-S-T. Relax the lower back. And both legs down. Again, back to Makarasan for a few seconds. While in a Makarasan, you can fold at one knee and you can just raise, bring the leg all the way forward, further up, for more relaxation. This is also a relaxes, relaxing pose. And then turn around, lay down on the back. First one we will do stick pose, Ustikasan. Extend both hands over the head, toes pointing out onto the opposite side. Feel the pull stretch from all the way toes to the fingers. And feel that we are extending, elongating our body at least a couple more inches by stretching ourselves, pushing toes away in one direction and pushing toes into the opposite direction. Pull, stretch, 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 and relax. Bring the hands, side of the hips, both fit together. Lift the leg and trunk 60 degree over the floor. Then raise the hands up. Look toenails through the fingernails. The knees straight, elbow straight. The toes and fingers as close as possible. And then very slowly bring the body back to Shavasan. Separate the hands away from the body, fingers semi-closed. Breathe in and out normal. Feet apart, couple of feet from each other, toes pointing out. You can close the eyes, and you can feel the sensations, vibrations, relaxations from the previous stretches, postures. Bring both feet together, fold 
at the right knee. Grab the right lower leg with both the hands. Pull the knee as close as the chest. As we exhale, bring the lift the head up with fully exhale, head and knees together. Inhale, bring the head back to the floor and keep on pressing the knee, the right knee toward the chest. With inhalation, raise the left leg up, keeping the left knee straight, left toes stretched out. Exhale, bring the leg, left leg toward the floor, inhale up, exhale, lower it, inhale up. And now make a big circle possible with toes stretch out, knee straight on the left leg. Three circles in one direction and then three circles in opposite direction. But don't bend at the knees and keep the toes stretch out. Once you complete the circles on both the sides, relax the left leg, straighten the right leg and fold at the left knee. Grab the left lower leg with both the hands and pull the left knee closer to the chest or face and inhale. As we exhale, lift the head up and bring the left knee and head together. Inhale, bring the head down, continue pressing the left knee to the chest. With next inhalation, raise the right leg up, right knee straight, right toes stretch out. Exhale, lower the right leg, just keep few inches over the floor. Inhale up, Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up and make a big circle possible, three circles in one direction, keeping the knee straight, toes stretch out and then three, three circles in opposite direction. Okay, now both legs straight, lay down in Shavasan, full relax. Don't hold any body parts, any muscles, anything. Even though we try to do that, if you carefully observe, there may be one or two places you might find that you are still holding the muscles or body part. So you have to quickly uh, observe that and you need to just release. Next we'll do Uttan Padasan or Ardhalasan. Both feet together, palms facing down, next to the hip joints to support the body. As we inhale, raise both legs up, toes stretch out, so toes pointing toward the ceiling and legs 90 degree with the floor or with the trunk. Hold it for 20 more seconds. So other people can do over here halasan if they like or the shoulder stand. So in about a couple of minutes we will start yoga nidra. Start lowering the legs. Keeping the knees straight toes stretch out, engage the core muscles, have a full control on the legs and very gently let them 
come back on the floor, lay down in the shavasan. And if anyone doing shavas, I mean sarvangasan or halasan, no one is doing. That's good. Okay. So stay in the shavasan for five to seven more seconds. Then we will do bridge pose. Okay, fold at both the knees. Bring the heels and hips. Grab the ankles, left to right, left to left, right to right. With next inhalation, raise the lower back up. You can hold it like this or you can just let the ankles go and use the palms to support the lower back and lift it up. You can put both palms under the hips and lift the lower back all the way up. Here we can do some variations. We can raise the one leg up, toes stretch out, knee straight for a few seconds. And very slowly bring the foot down and we can do with the other leg. So Ekapad Setu Bandasan. Okay, bring both the feet together on the floor and very slowly bring the back onto the floor and lay down in shavasan about 10 seconds shavasan then transition into matsyasan or fish pose and any time you can turn the lights down if you like you can cover yourself up you can start preparing for yoga nindra in about 15 20 seconds. So now transition into the Matsyasan face pose and stay there at least 15 seconds. Yep. Lay down in Shavasan. Make any final adjustments, final movements. Be fully comfortable to make sure that you should not be moving at all. No movements other than the breathing, the natural movements. And completely follow the instructions word by word. शरीर को पूरी तरह से फ्लोर पर सरेंडर कर दिया है शरीर का पूरा वजन फ्लोर पर ट्रांसफर हो रहा है और अभी मैं जो जो बॉडी पार्ट्स का नाम बोलूं वहां अपनी अवेयरनेस लाना है और वो बॉडी पार्ट को रिलैक्स करते जाएंगे रिलैक्स ऑल योर टूज वन बाय वन रिलैक्स बोथ योर फीट सोल हील्स Relax your calf muscles, your lower legs, knee joint, 
Now bring your awareness on your thighs. Relax your thighs. So now both your legs are completely relaxed. Now bring your awareness on your lower abdomen. Nabi se niche ke sabhi muscles relax kar denge. और ध्यान लाएंगे नाभि के ऊपर अपने बेली बटन पर ध्यान लाएंगे अभी अवेयरनेस लाएंगे पेट पर पेट के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे पेट के सभी ऑर्गेन्स पर रिलैक्स कर देंगे अवेयरनेस थोड़ी ऊपर की तरफ शिफ्ट करेंगे और चेस्ट के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे चेस्ट के सभी ऑर्गेन्स भी रिलैक्स कर देंगे लंग्स हार्ट दोनों हाथ रिलैक्स कर देंगे दोनों हाथ की सभी फिंगर्स दोनों पाम्स हथेली दोनों रिस्ट दोनों लोअर आर्म्स एल्बोस अपर आर्म्स दोनों शोल्डर्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे और अभी चेस्ट के सेंटर में ध्यान लाएंगे फील द वाइब्रेशन इन योर बॉडी और अभी ध्यान लाएंगे गले के ऊपर और गले के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे फिर फेस पर ध्यान लाएंगे और फेस के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स करते जाएंगे चीन रिलैक्स करेंगे लिप्स दोनों चीक्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे नोज दोनों इयर्स दोनों आईज आईब्रोज फोरहेड एंड टॉप ऑफ द हेड फील द वाइब्रेशन इन योर बॉडी योर होल बॉडी इज रिलैक्स नाउ नाउ वी विल चेंट थ्री ओम और ओम के वाइब्रेशंस पूरे शरीर में महसूस करेंगे नाभि से स्टार्ट करते हुए ओम बोलेंगे और वाइब्रेशंस पूरे शरीर में फील करेंगे स्टार्ट ब्रेद इन Breathe in. 
in your body ओम के वाइब्रेशंस शरीर के अंदर भी है और शरीर के बाहर भी है मूवमेंट करके ये वाइब्रेशन को डिस्टर्ब नहीं करेंगे आनंद की अनुभूति करेंगे परम शांति का अनुभव करेंगे अपने आप को एकदम हैप्पी हैप्पी महसूस करेंगे अपने आप को एकदम हेल्दी महसूस करेंगे ग्रेटिट्यूड की फीलिंग कि भगवान ने मुझे सब कुछ दिया है अभी जो फीलिंग्स है उसे बनाए रखेंगे धीरे से बॉडी के प्रति सजग हो जाएंगे हेड को साइड टू साइड मूव करेंगे शरीर को एक स्ट्रेच दे देंगे दोनों हाथ ऊपर की तरफ खींच लेंगे Okay, wiggle the toes, turn them on left and right. Stretch the head over the body, rub them. Place them over the eyes and face. Fingers over forehead, palms over the eyes. Massage the eyelids gently. Open and close eyes multiple times in dark. Slide the hands down. Bend at both the knees and turn the body towards right side, and stay on right for three normal breaths. And after that, with help of both the palms, bring the body up back to sitting posture. Very slowly. Let's do cooling down pranayama. We will do Anulom Vilom and Brahmari today. So bring head in, hands into Vishnu Mudra. On the right hand, roll first two fingers into root of thumb. We can start inhaling from left. Exhale on right. Inhale on right and exhale on left. Left to right, right to left. Alternate breathing fashion, or Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, or Anulom Vilom Pranayama. It has a multiple names, and is very beneficial. The left hand can be in Vayu Mudra. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. You can chant with any other mantras or anything. You can add them, but just mentally chanting as we inhale, exhale.
and last round when you breathe out on the left then complete In Sanmukhi Mudra, we will do Brahmari Pranayama. So we'll block our ear canal with the thumb tips. Place the first finger over the forehead, middle finger loosely over the eyes to block some lights. And ring finger tips on nostrils to adjust the pressure. Ring finger, um, a little finger can be on lips. Deeply breathe in. And with closed mouth, closed ears, closed eyes, and block the nostrils, we're gonna chant Makara. So we will feel the full vibration over the head. We'll do it three times. Okay, great. Let's do our closing process. Bring both palms on top of each other. Three Mahamrutunja Mantra followed by a short meditation, Omkar chanting and closing prayer. But close the eyes now. Relax the shoulders. Trunk vertical. And keep the eyes closed till end. Om Trayam Bakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukmeva Bandhanan Mrutyur Mukshiyama Mrutat Om Trayam Bakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukameva Bandana Nrutyur Mukshiyama Mruta Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukameva Bandana Nrutyur Mukshiyama Mruta Keep awareness at Sahasrara Chakra, crown of the head. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kastit Dukha Bhavet 
ओम शांति 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 टिल हेड डाउन Rub the palms against each other. Make them warm. Cover the eyes and face. Eyes under the palms. Massage the eyelids gently. Blink the eyes few times. Slide the hands down, and slowly open the eyes. Place the hands over the head, neck, shoulders, arms, and the whole body to. spread the energy within the body hari om sri guru bhyo namaha good morning everybody jai shri krishna and happy third navratri see there when there is a when there is a will there is a way ratre be vagya sudhi navratri karta tha ra atyare jo pahunchi gaya jo kanti bhai be jo aave gaya ratre ketla vage suta ashe jo khabar nahi pan सवारे टाइम में पहुंच जाओ न करो दैट्स द थिंग ओके लेट लेट मी अनम्यूट ग्रेट सो ऑसम 3:30 3:30 वेंट टू बेड या हम लोग को एक डॉट वगैया सुधे डॉट वगैया तो हमें छुटा पीड़ा रात्रे गरबा लेने 